Hello and cheers. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I am looking at the history of Trunks. It is one of the Dragon Ball Z specials. I was just mere moments away from beginning to watch uh, episodes 41 and 42, but thank God or somebody I checked the comments um, because everyone was telling me to make sure that I watch the history of Trunks next for context. So that's what I'm doing. I'm really, really glad that I saw that. But before I confused myself or made a fool of myself in some kind of way. Uh, before I begin, though, I do want to give a shout out to a couple of channel members. Um, we really wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, thanks to Blanketman64. Thanks to Nathan Smith. Thanks to Dean Thomas and Saturn Sins. Anthony Karpiak. Mike McPhee. Uh... Let's see here. Moreno Otten. Back again. Welcome back, Moreno. Uh, G. Fiddy. There's so there's a lot of you now, so I I really really appreciate it. I was not I never expected that. Um, I do appreciate the support immensely though, so thank you so so much. Um, and I don't want to uh, to waste any time. I'm really excited to get into the history of trunks. Um, once again, these videos do come out a little bit earlier for members. Members also can get some extra content. They can get some early content. They can of course get shout outs as well. Um, so th again, thank you so, so much for supporting. Um, and let's, let's begin. Let's learn about trunks. Hello, my name is Trunks. Cheers. And this is my story. <laughs> I mean, I was a baby during this part, so the details are a little unclear. Mom, what happened? Your dad is dead! For good! No! Dead, 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 dead! I'm told those were my first words. Son of a bitch! <laughs> dead, 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 dead. And those were my second. But he just got back from his training. After getting back from Namek. After getting back from his training. After being dead! Bye, son. <laughs> Rip. And with the death of Goku, his family and friends were left to mourn. For approximately six months. <laughs> Leaving the fate of the Earth with little hope. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that's where the uh, image from the trailer came in. Or not the trailer, the opening scene. Over the next 13 years, the androids would destroy small town after small town, working their way up. Maybe that's why we reacted the way we did. And welcome back, folks, to TJ and the Wombat. 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 Me so horny. Starting us off this hour. Oh man, remember when that was how all like the Shock Chuck radio shows were? I don't know if those even still exist anymore. I think they've all become podcast bros now. So, yeah, they are still like that. Oh, hey, look, Peter Griffin. The College Battle Ball Association has had to disband entirely as most of its players and associate colleges have been destroyed by the cyborgs. <laughs> Speaking of which, in cyborg Sounds right. news. <laughs> As we currently speak, Paprika Berg is under siege by the mechanical threat. But on the brighter side, Wombat's getting married. <laughs> That's right. Unfortunately, my beloved fiance resides in Paprika Berg and is probably most certainly dying as we speak. But well, definitely now. Again. Oh, behave. Oh, I miss country. Mom, do you believe in destiny? I'm a okay. So no. Okay, so is he like actually thirteen throughout like the whole saga? Then, like in what we've already seen from him, he was he was thirteen. That did not register with me. I definitely thought he was older, but now his responses. Do make more sense if he's actually was a teenager. <laughs> Paprika Brig is only 30 miles from here. If I hurry, I could save someone. 
or you could die like your father. Why do you say that every time I want to go fight them? Because you are 13, I'm 37, and I am all alone. My mother had been 37 for 10 years. No means no. End of discussion. Oh, no. Just, just fly away. That's fine. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. That is bad road safety. Bulma, you have to make your 13-year-old child wear a seatbelt. God bless him. Hey, 18, you keeping score? Why would I be doing that? You said you would. No, you said, hey, check this shit out, then jumped in a car. Oh, come <laughs> on, sis, is this about the shop earlier? Oh man, you wouldn't believe this haul. This is why I love these little inner city shops. They always have the best brand. What the hell? Why did you blow it up? They were giving me free clothes. Didn't give me nothing. It was a woman's clothing store. Hey, I'm perfectly secure. And he didn't go in though. So like, why? My man, you gotta go into the store if they want to give you free, if you want to get free stuff. Is that why you dye your hair? Don't hate. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do anything at all, but I had to at least try to stop their chaos. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was too late. Damn it, I'm too late. <laughs> but as I walked the ruins of that demolished city, <laughs> Uh -huh. A hero appeared. The hero of my time. Go on. Oh, wow. Face with him, all I could say was, God, thank you to destroy these cities, and I don't know how to stop the big hang that everybody said. Aww. Was profound. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I was not expecting to see grown up Gohan. I kind of expected him to stay a small child forever. You remember a time before this, Gohan? What was it like? Well, when I was a toddler, my uncle showed up, kidnapped me, and then Mr. Piccolo killed him and my dad. Then Mr. Piccolo kidnapped me, the Saiyans showed up, killed a bunch of people, including Mr. Piccolo. Then we went to Namek, a bunch more people died, we came back, then my dad died again, then all my friends died, and now everyone else is dying. But it was better, right? No. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. I like his hair on, on Gohan, though. I gotta say, I do like that hair on Gohan. But also, he's I like his summary. It's it's apt. It's very apt. And the fact that he still calls Mr. Piccolo, Mr. Piccolo. Help! I'm half saying just like you! I've got one, Mr. Piccolo. What? I said, from now on, you shall be my pupil. And you will call me Mr. Gohan. Oh, okay. Would you like to stay for dinner, Mr. Gohan? Mr. Gohan Wood. Oh my god! Home, or should I change my dating profile from single mother to just single? Because one gets more hits. Oh, Gohan. Long time no see. Bulma. So, Gohan, you staying the night? We got plenty of room here, but, you know, no extra beds, so we'll have to share. Bulma! I'm good. Stop! Well, worth a shot. Who's hungry? I can't believe how hard it is to get produce nowadays. Luckily, we have our own greenhouses. Don't ask me where I get the protein from, though. Can't talk. Eating. Oh, you are just like your father. Yeah. In what regard? Well, you're strong and brave, and look at you in that gi. It was the only thing he left me. Aw, that's sweet. Aw. Over the next. I was like, I was literally about to say the same thing. Aw, uh, apple don't fall far. But I also like Gohan is a. Let's see if let's let's just wait and see. I don't want to make any like sweeping statements about how much smarter he is. But let's let's see. In a few weeks, Gohan would begin training me, focusing on making me a Super Saiyan like him. His methods were dodgy. Dodge! <laughs> hey, dodge! Mister Gohan, fly up! The whirlpool's too strong. I can't. I said, fly up! Maybe I can build a raft! <laughs> he gets Mr. Piccolo's rage now, don't he? <laughs> Here, huh? clean yourself up. You know, if you think I'm rough, you should have trained with Mr. Piccolo. You really looked up to him, didn't you? Yeah, he was like the father I never had. <laughs> you know, That's what I've been saying! 
Mon- I do I do know that everyone has been telling me that Gohan, I mean Goku was actually a very good dad to Gohan. Um but I again, my experience is with the show with the Dragon Ball Z abridged series and he is gone a lot and I do adore Gohan and Piccolo's relationship. I I adore it. Never talks about mine. You knew him, right? What was he like? <laughs> you think having a dad is a super saiyan makes you better than me? No! Wrong answer! He had a lot to prove. Gohan would never talk much about his family. Apparently, you know, that was political. Father lived alone in the Diplomatic. Woods. I'm home, and I've got groceries. How are you doing, sweetheart? I should be a grandmother, you know. Oh. I should be a grandmother with a Nobel Prize winning son. But what am I? A widow. With a son who never talks to me and is possibly dead. You... You, you uh... So I'm just gonna sit here and knit this baby sweater. So, uh, is dinner happening? Will dinner bring my husband back? Maybe? Go on. You know, he was... He was very, very food motivated. So it is possible. Night ...to become a Super Saiyan. That's it. Look at him, Mr. Piccolo. He's almost ready. What do you think? I think the only real training you'll ever get in this world is on the battlefield. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the next oh, time, man. The cyborgs would attack Superworld. Hello and welcome to Superworld. Slogan pending. Please stay behind the line. Uh, huh? Excuse me, you two. You can't cut the line. Do you not know who we are? If you'd like to get on the rides faster, we do have a fast pass system that's only 7,900 zen. <laughs> 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 they. They took the time to, you know what? Good for them. They've been uh, locked up in little pods for so long, right? They never had the chance to be children, right? Let's let's have them be. Uh, let's let let's let them have some fun at the theme park. I'm I'm I'm. You know what? I will allow it. <laughs> and they don't have to wait in any lines. Like the lines suck, but now they get to just go on all the rides for free. This is this is the way to do it. It's the way to live. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you can fly, these rides don't really seem that fun. <laughs> if you're already bored, why not try taking a ride on my fist? Wow, you uh Ooh. Need to rephrase that there, Chief. Yeah, maybe. Nope. I'd rather take that minute to kick your ass. Okay, now see? That's better. Now, Trunks, I want you to just sit back and spectate. Unless they team up on me, in which case, jump in. I can't help but feel like I'm woefully unprepared for this. A little bit. Exactly what we prepared for. This would be my first real battle, and I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Okay. You always told me stories about the fights of the past, but those had a lot more screaming and posturing. But as soon as Gohan gave me up for hand. Damn, he's pissed today. You think it's his time of the month? Ha! <laughs> uh, it's funny because you're a chick. Come on! Ooh. Stop it! I can't believe you brought a kid to a battle. Super irresponsible. <laughs> it's like, this kid, it's like, baby girl. He's been battling since he was four. She wasn't wrong. I'm not afraid of you. She wasn't wrong. I, however, was. <laughs> I like that. I was. I was wrong. You hit like a girl. Well, you're not wrong. Oh no, you don't. Well, shit. Think he got away? I don't know. We can't sense life energy. Seriously, what was the point of not giving us that ability? Seems like an intentional design flaw, if you ask me. Oh. You know, they gotta give the main characters a chance. You know? A single solitary little chance, maybe? Well, Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Aw, oh, crap baskets. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, that's pain. not good. Oh, everything's in pain. Ah, oh, everything but my left arm. Ah, oh, man. Oh my God. Again? Be really handy right about now. But I'll just settle on the next best thing and use the senzu beans. Bean singular. Uh oh. Oh no! He's gonna give it to Trunks. Mm, man. Ah, uh, well, that's disappointing. Looking for male, mid to late thirties, black spiky hair, not too tall, loves to work out. Hey, mom. <sighs> what is it, Trunks? Oh my God! What do you know about reattaching arms? That I can't find. Oh, sweetie. Wow. So, huh? have you learned anything today? The only good cyborg is a dead cyborg? <laughs> <laughs> you really are your father's son. Now stronger and more motivated than ever. I was back to training as soon as Gohan was able again. Though I think he was still... Were they gonna give him? They should give him a Winter Soldier arm. You know, I mean, I don't know if he he might not want one, considering that they're fighting against, you know, what they're considering what they're fighting against. He might not want a cyborg arm, but still. <laughs> a little sore. Come on, Trunks. Just imagine losing someone or something close to you, like your arm. Because trust me, <laughs> that really friggin' sucks. <laughs> If if he were to turn do the monkey thing, if he were going to turn into the monkey again, if that was possible, but I don't think it is because I think the moon is gone. But like, if he were, would he grow it back? All right, take five. Unfortunately, I wouldn't transform in time. Oh, so no. Go on. Do you usually hang out in wastelands? What do you mean? This is where I live. Oh, it's nice. I think you're really close, you know? He's he's learned so much from Mr. Piccolo, including the the living on top of a mountain and staring out at the horizon for hours and hours. You just need something to push you over the edge. Well, you always tell me to use the pain of loss, but I've never really lost anyone. For me, it's my greatest source of anger. I just think about losing Krillin or Mr. Piccolo. Or your dad? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm hmm him. And then it just builds up inside until finally... it explodes. Yeah, like that. Only metaphorically. <laughs> Mr. Gohan, we have to go! <laughs> no trunks. You stay here this time. We both know you're not ready. Mr. Oh no! With one arm! What can you do with one arm? You know what? You're right. What can I do with only one arm? Thank you, Mr. Gohan. I will not let you die. I can that. knock you out. <laughs> Good job. Now. I mean, he is he is trying to be responsible. You know, I will give him so many props for that. You know, he actually realized how dangerous it was to take a child into battle. He's not going to do it again. He's gonna die! What can I do to the cyborgs with one arm? Use the Makanko Sapo! You never taught me that. Use it! <laughs> Bigelow! So I wonder if Gohan is haunted by the ghost of Piccolo slash Nail. <laughs> or if it's just Mr. Piccolo. You know what? I'm bored. While well, we could find another city. No, I mean like bored of this whole great destroyer shtick, you know? Destroying things, killing people. It's just boring. Yeah, it's kind of lost its luster. After you wipe an entire genre of music off the face of the earth, what's left? You know what I always wanted to do? Like, since before all this? Which genre did they wipe off the face of the earth? Tell me. Be a park. Let me know. You want to range a park. Hell yeah. Living outdoors, communicating with nature, shooting poachers. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. You got them kids up my He slapped your shit! 
Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm killing every human. Every one. Then I'm gonna range the shit out of that park. Neither of you are leaving here alive. I'm stronger than I was before. Yeah, also lighter. Looks like you dropped some weight since last time. Five, ten pounds? I don't know, how much does an arm weigh? Gotta hand it to you, though. Pretty ballsy coming after us all asymmetrical like that. But four hands are better than one. Long story short, you're gonna die. No, this isn't where my story ends. I think, I think it might be actually where your story ends. But like, I did like those zingers. I appreciated them. Good job. 18 and 17 and 18. There's 17 and 18. 17 and 18. Good job. Good job, children. Well done. This is where Gohan's story ends. <laughs> God, I don't know why I wasn't expe I wasn't expecting the the Trunks narrator to come in and just say the thing because he's been doing that the whole time and that is a trope that I adore. I like I always like it. It's a I never actually watched Arrested Development, but it I know that happens in that show a lot where the narrator will cut in and just completely um what's the word I'm looking for? They will Whatever the character has just said, the narrator will pop in and be like, well, actually, I do appreciate that in shows. Uh, well, this is it, Mr. Piccolo. But at least we still have trunks. I trained him just like you wanted. You know I'm not actually here, right? Oh, crap baskets. Yeah. Down. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oof. the future has to be like 16 or something right when he gets he's got he's not 13 when he gets a sword and starts being awesome right i was wrong i like oof Jesus, it does suck that it takes like the pain of loss, you know, like you have to like, oh, it's like it's power, but at what cost? Three years later, so 16. All right, mom, I got the rest of the supplies for the time machine. And it's too bad grandpa isn't here to help you build it. Yeah, unfortunately, he's still off searching the cosmos for new Namek. By God. Is that it? After all this? Oh, damn it all! <laughs> so until your grandpa returns, yes. just me. Hello? This is an emergency broadcast from Humanopolis. The cyborgs are attacking, and they are sparing no one. No one is safe. That's close to here. Trunks, I know what you're thinking, but let me just finish the time machine. We don't have time for that. That's what the machine is for. Listen, I'm stronger right? now. I'm a Super Saiyan! So was Gohan, and look how that turned out! Oh, so now you're just replacing Dad with Gohan? Trust me, I tried! 
Oh god. I'm going now. Be safe. Fair. Harm with the sword given to me by Tapion. Which is a whole other story. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, uh huh, you're excuse 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 me, please. Excuse me, please, Trunks. Alright, at least he's gonna admit that. I raced off to fight the cyborgs. One last time. We all wrapped up then? Yep, looks like we're out of people to kill here. I was like, have you not killed all the humans yet? How have, it's been three years and you how have you not killed all of them? I feel like they're not good at their jobs. Why don't you try me? Wait, did you just ask us to kill you? N no, as in fight me. I'm sorry, do we know you? Yes, you murdered my master. Oh wait, hold on. I don't care. <laughs> Yep, that right. Day, I'm still not sure why I did what I did. Maybe it was grief. Maybe it was puberty. Maybe, Maybe it was... I just had something to prove. A young half-blood Super Saiyan, armed with nothing but a sword in his guts. Unfortunately, half-human and half-Saiyan might just be analogous to half-brave and half-stupid. <laughs> Maybe. I... I did it! No, I don't hey. think so. Doesn't he kind of <laughs> remind you of you know who? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. But unlike good old Righty, he's still got both arms. Yeah, but not for long. Oh, crap. That was baller. Oh my god, that was good. Yes, little boy. Hey, sunshine. Cough if you're still alive. <laughs> Good boy. Why? Why are you doing this? The question isn't why, kid. It's why not. I mean, who's going to stop us? Not those guys 17 years ago. Not all one arm. And certainly... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. They can't- they did mention, like, multiple times how old trunks was i'm so i don't i don't know why that like why i forgot that i've it's like i watched those episodes very recently and yet gone it like disappeared i was like i for some reason i thought he was 18 or something oh you know what that's what it was i think that they kept saying like he's 17 and so like my brain just went okay he said in 17 and okay actually no did they They said in the earlier episodes, in six months, this is what's going to happen, and then everyone is dead by my time. I don't know if they ever actually said how old he was. Maybe I'm not crazy. I swear, this is literally just ginger beer. Not you. 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 You evil fucking shit. I'll kick your death. <laughs> this you is hilarious. Bastard, yeah. Shit, Although now it's kind of annoying. Bye. Now it's sad. Bye. And now it's annoying again. <laughs> oh, just pinball him all around again. Wait a sec. This kid looked familiar to you, sis? Yeah. He was at the amusement park with Stumpy. Aw, who's a little survivor? You are, yes you are. Let's fix that, shall we? Cold. Dibs, sis, get out of the... Did you just friggin' blast me? You stepped in front of it! What is- Yeah, what was that? That's it! We're leaving! Oh, come on, I sis. still have no idea sis, how I survived. Right yeah, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> Trunk, sweetie? You waking up? Uh, 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 Mom? That was weird. What was that? How long was I out? Well, I finished the time machine. Oh. Is that long? Yeah. Which means you got two options. You take another swing at the cyborgs. <laughs> or you use the time machine to go save Goku. I want to save Goku. Trunks? I want to save Goku. Good boy. <laughs> After recovering a few months, I was finally ready. Aw, my jacket looks so good on you. All the girls in the past are just going to love it. Thanks, Mom. So this is it. I can't believe I finally get to meet history's greatest hero. 
Yeah, Goku might not be exactly how you think, so do you your expectations? <laughs> Dad, I finally get to meet Dad! Oh shit, you do. Huh? I mean, <laughs> sweetie, and everything will turn out okay. But again, like I was saying, I get I don't think they told us exactly how old he was, and if he did, I fully missed it, and I'm super sorry. Um but his behavior now that I am fully aware that he is like 16 and his um like obsession with trying to get Vegeta to listen and all of that, all of his interactions do make a lot more sense seen through the lens of this is a child. I do kind of want to go back and rewatch some of his, his conversations with Gohan now, though. Did he he hasn't seen he hasn't met Gohan yet. Right. Because Gohan. Took Goku back. I have to go rewatch those episodes. All right, Mom. I'm off. Next time you see me, this will be a cyborg free world. Yep. Unless this actually operates on multiverse theory, in which case. Can't hear you, Mom. Time machine. Bye, sweetie. In which case, you'll never see each other again. And multiverse theory it is. Shit. That sucks. I can't use the Doctor Who theme song. I'm gonna get claimed. I can't use that. Damn it. Oh, man. All right, well, we'll turn it down a little bit and just have a little bit of a conversation over it so I'm not just sitting there silent. Um, I like that they, like, credited Oolong, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't in this. But, okay. Anyway. Point being, I don't know if I actually knew how old he was before. Um, if I did, then I'm an idiot and I'm sorry uh, for forgetting that. But I am very glad I saw this. It did make things make a little bit more sense. And now I do think I should probably go back and do like a little watch through, see the uh, other, other episodes. Again, from this perspective, now that I know who Trunks is, know some of his backstory, I want to see if he's actually had interactions with, with Gohan. All right. They haven't been back in two days. I can't believe they took my house. I'm going in for a food run. All that's left is the spam and the pork rinds. We both knew this day would come! I have long since made peace with this. I'm just glad we're still alive. Oh, uh, thanks to my submarine, the USS Medic. Speaking of which... Oh, no. I've been meaning to ask... Know it. I freaking knew it. How does it feel riding my dick? 17 years. 17 years you've been holding on to that one. You don't know the patience I have. <laughs> didn't answer my question either. <laughs> it's tight and damp. <laughs> yep. That's not what I meant to hit. That's okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of a joke I read in a, a story once where the Scottish guy had named his truck Marie Arend. Um and if you say it correctly in the accent that it's meant to be said in. Um, he gets to ask people how they like riding in his Mariand. His Mariand. There it is. Mariand. So I was just like that. I was just like, I, that's what that joke reminds me of. Because his, it was big white and it drips or something. It was nasty. And I was just like, that's actually really funny though. Riding in my dick. Mariand. Anyway. <laughs> I, so I feel like there's stuff that I might have missed or like I might have forgotten in some of the earlier episodes. So I very apologize for that. Um, but I am more excited now to like continue on. So next time I'll do episodes 41 and 42, um, I will have once I get to those, I will have done like a little bit of a rewatch for me personally of some of these other videos just so I'll be fully caught up um, in my own head. Uh, before I watch those. Um, and again, I'm looking forward to this. This is fun. I like the little 
little special episode tucked to the side here. Excellent. So, so grateful again that people told me to, to make sure to watch this and to watch it now. Um, I am very much looking forward to the next couple of episodes. And then, so there's 41 and 42, and then there is the movie Return of, or Revenge of Cooler or something. So I'll be, I was told to watch it then. So that's when I'm going to do it. If I'm wrong about that and I should wait to watch that, let me know that as well. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.